Hey everyone, it's Cam. Um, now as you may have recalled in one of my previous videos, I made a comment on buying a whole bunch of plants. Well, with the way the weather's been <clears throat> in Florida recently, the salvia died because unfortunately I didn't, I forgot that it's actually a pretty thirsty plant and with the like 90 to 100 degree weather that we've been having well it was really just one or two days but I didn't actually um, water it quite enough and it started to die and no matter what I could do I kept watering it and it just got worse and worse so you may see it in what I'm about to show you I don't really know what really went wrong because normally plants are able to be watered and kind of brought back to life but this one decided to just give up I guess and the peppers in the previous video you didn't really see any peppers growing there may have been one or two but now there's a multiple uh, multiple peppers on each plant and as you can see, they've actually also started to ripen. So, so here's one of the pepper plants. And as you can kind of see, there's some red peppers that are not yet ripe enough to eat. Same on this one. Though there's only like one that's actually seeming to be ripe enough to possibly eat. And this one doesn't have really any ripening too much but there is one that looks more pink than green and this is the little tree that I got and as you can see it's still flowering as much as possible and I figured I might as well show you that the salvia is dead and it's unfortunate but when it comes to plants, you kind of have to expect that many of them may die, and if you're producing a bunch of plants, like let's say if you were a farmer, you often expect maybe like 30% of the plants to have died by the end of the growing season, and that accounts for seeds that don't germinate, plants that die off within a short period of time after germinating, plants that die because of disease, plants that, that die because of drought, so, uh, and some other different issues that may happen during the growing season. But as I will be going back up to New Jersey and probably trying to bring all of my plants home, it's kind of a blessing that I don't have to deal with one extra plant pot on my way back home. But all of the other ones should be easily fitted onto my passenger seat if not on one of my other seats because the tree is just slightly taller than um, I could have in the back so I have to have it in the passenger regardless and all the other ones I will probably just have on the seat because I'm pretty sure that the three plant pots that those peppers are in are small enough to all fit on the seat and I may put a piece of cardboard on the seat just to make sure that any water that is in the plant pot doesn't really ruin the seat or it gets collected and soaked into the cardboard so then I can just throw out the cardboard when I'm done. Anyways, see you in the next video. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm always up to open to suggestions.